Hey, I get asked a lot how to build a membership site using WordPress, but particularly when you're gonna have a lot of volume in purchasing, you're gonna have a lot of volume when it comes to subscriptions. When you're thinking about 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 people and you're billing them every single month, sometimes the solutions in WordPress don't feel as robust as they need to be. It's why I recommend Recurly. And the largest subscription-based platforms that I've used have often been based on Recurly, even though you're using WordPress. And so what I wanna show you is how you, even if you're not there yet, even if you don't have 10,000 people paying you every month, how you can build this platform without even writing a line of code, right? And that's interesting, because what we're gonna do is connect things like WP Fusion, ConvertKit, and Recurly to WordPress, make it all come together in a way that's really, really easy. So. As I show you here, the subscription is powered by Recurly. The form and all the form and magic work is done by Ninja Forms. I'll explain why in a second, but the users created by Ninja Forms, the content is protected by WP Fusion, and the glue connecting some of the dots here is my particular favorite for emails and forms and what have you. When you're collecting, it's a mini CRM, is ConvertKit, right? Um, all of this, right, comes together powered by a website that's using WordPress. So let's get into it. If you've never seen Recurly, right? Recurly lets you create plans, and those plans, when you go to create it, yeah, you get the name and the codes and what have you, but you can have any kind of billing cycle you want. Every month, every two months, every three months, every six months, every year, you can do it customized on days. You can decide how much you wanna charge and uh, what kind of length you want, right? You want to do it for 12 months every month or or what have you, right? You can auto-renew or expire the subscription. You can create add-ons, um, free trials, and everything else. So incredibly powerful platform. You'll see here I've already created three different levels of plans, if you will, all right? Now, um, I have a form that is the Recurly form in my convert kit, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, powering this to protect the content is WP Fusion. We'll look at that. And being able to manipulate the menu itself is menu item visibility control, a free plugin, right? So we come over here and we're gonna come into our sign up and we're just gonna create a fake user. Now this form is brought to you or powered by um, Ninja Forms, right? And uh, Ninja Forms, there's a there's a whole lot of reasons why it's awesome, but my favorite uh, is because what it does is it creates all these extra add-ons that help you connect the dots between different systems. So you'll see here that this is going to be these are the plans that I've created here to connect us back over to Recurly, right? Now, when I hit the submit, Recurly's gonna pop up and ask me to pay, right? So here's John Doe. And I'm gonna sign up. Now notice I had clicked the gold plan. I got automatically redirected on success to the success gold page. Now here you could explain all the stuff about it, but this is a very specific page, right? You'll see in the URL success gold. Ninja Forms does that. It basically comes back and says, hey, there was success. It did several things at once, which you didn't catch because it's behind the scenes, but it created this user. It turned around and uh, sent that information to ConvertKit. Uh, ConvertKit, Obviously, and, and WP Fusion, when you go to load this stuff, WP Fusion is pulling data out of ConvertKit to say, hey, what do you have rights to or what have you? So you'll notice the menu still says home and sign up. I'm gonna click on gold content. And when I do, because I haven't been signed in yet, it's gonna say, hey, you gotta sign in. When I go to sign in, I'm gonna use my new role, right? This user was created by the Ninja Forms add-on, right? And when I go back, what you'll see is now the menu's different, right? The menu is, hey, there's gold content here, right? When I click on the gold content, I see the text that says, this is gold content. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes how that plays out. I'm gonna log out, log back in as an admin here. 
and I'm going to come look at these pages for just a second. Remember that we saw success gold, right? Success gold doesn't have a restriction because it's just like, hey, anybody can hit this page. It's going to have a link to this gold content. That's the one that has a restri restriction. And that restriction is set to, hey, you need this tag. And you're going, where's that tag coming from? This is the power of WP Fusion. WP Fusion is integrated into ConvertKit, right? If I come here now and I refresh this, I should see two subscribers. And the second one is going to be that John Doe person, right? And that John, John Doe person, if I come and take a look at his details, you're going to see that I have placed in this variable, recurly plan, I've placed gold. Now, did I place it there? No, Ninja Forms did. Ninja Forms, with its connection to ConvertKit, put gold here. And then WP Fusion, when I went to log in, right? WP Fusion, when I when it noticed I was logging into this, went in to look for that person and said, what tags do they have? And in this case, when it routed me to this page, it looked for that tag and said, oh yes, you get to see this. If it had been someone else and they didn't have access to this, they wouldn't have seen it, right? So, and that gold on the, uh, on the menu also comes from the fact that WP Fusion is going to say, let me make sure that I filter out and show you only that content which you have rights to. So WP Fusion is doing all the content protection through this integration here. But in order to get that information, it's reading it from ConvertKit. And you go, okay, so let's see if we get this all correct, right? We have the data coming in. In fact, it's easier if I just show you over here on the NinjaForm side. This is the single form that powers this stuff up, right? I come into here and down here, I have the your plan, right? This is your plan. Up here, I have the username and password. These are connected to the extensions I was telling you about. So let's go take a look real quick at our plugins so you see all of what's powering this, right? We talked about the menu items visibility control. I told you that Ninja Forms does most of this work, which you'll see. Ninja Forms is all here. And then WP Fusion. So Ninja Forms has a convert kit extension, which I'm using. It has a recurly extension, which I'm using. And it has a user management, which I'm using. If there's no other reason for you to think about of all the different uh, form plugins, why you ought to take a look at Ninja Forms, it's because nobody else has these, right? Which means you're going to go write custom code to connect these dots. You don't have to. Convert kit, recurly, and user management stuff are all happening here. So when the user, when the when you fill out that form, the user management extension creates the user. When you submit it, the convert kit extension takes the information and puts it into convert kit, right? And of course, when you want to buy it, the one that goes out to recurly to collect, you know, call and collect the money and, and get that processed, that is the Ninja Forms recurly piece. So if we come in and take a look at this form. And again, you notice so far we're, we're not doing any coding, right? We create some pages and in those pages, we, we use WP Fusion to say, make sure they have this tag. And that wasn't hard and there's no code there. We went into, into Recurly, we created these plans. And when we come to pick these plans, right? You'll notice that I just have to put a value here, right? This is silver, gold, or platinum. That's the data that the Recurly extension is gonna send over to Recurly and say, hey, Make sure you have one of these, right? So that then it can do the it can do the payment piece, right? If I come over to actions, all the redirections, right? If you are successful with silver, gold, or platinum, this is what does the redirection to those pages, right? So remember we talked about success gold. Well, there's also success silver. There's success gold, success platinum. So if there is success, it routes us to this piece, right? So if you have selected, and this is the conditional logic extension we're using for Ninja Forms, if you picked Platinum and it was successful, take me to Success Platinum, right? Again, still no code, you're filling in blanks. Super easy. And then we get over to the Recurly piece and the Recurly says, hey, take the fields that you're gonna need, take them from the form, right? Which by the way, that's this little drop down over here, it gives you all those forms. So the form that you chose, take these pieces and stick them here. Remember we had gold and silver, those plans. That's what we put in here. We put the other information like their first name, last name, and email over here. That's what goes out there. When we go to convert kit, right? We have to put their email in here. 
we have to say which form, which was the form we looked at, right, that had this guy in it. So this form is the recurly signup form, right? And that's what we put here. And then we come into our tags. Oh, sorry, in our custom fields. And in our custom fields in our recurly plan, we put the plan they chose, right? So all of a sudden you're going, wait a minute, you didn't have to create anything? You didn't have to code anything? And you go, no. The, the flow here, right, in case it wasn't super clear, is that this, this form is collecting the information and sending it to all the different places. So it sends it to Recurly to get charged. It sends it to ConvertKit to register them. It takes the tag of which plan they picked and puts it into ConvertKit. It creates a user here in the WordPress site so that that's taken care of. It does all that and then just routes them to a page. So Ninja Forms does a lot of the work, but in order for that, in order for that to make sense, right, ConvertKit has to have this user with this gold plan, right? This gold value here, because that's what WP Fusion is going to read, right? When you take a look at, at this guy, you're going to see it integrates with all sorts of stuff. So if you say, hey, wait a second, I'm not using ConvertKit, right? You go, that's okay, right? It can connect to all sorts of other, I mean, look at all these, look at all these guys that it connects to, right? It's it's crazy how many different systems um, that this connects to. But if you if you're looking for something where you go, I want to do content protection, but I want to make sure that I have the most robust in terms of billing, right? Where I don't have problems with reference transactions of PayPal, I don't have issues with you know I want to use a different payment gateway than what potentially my membership plugin does. I don't want to bring all of WooCommerce and subscriptions, which works powerfully, but I don't want to bring all of that for this simple focus. When you want to pull this together, it truly is as easy as Recurly, Ninja Forms, WP Fusion, and an email system that Ninja Forms can write to, like ConvertKit, and that WP Fusion can read from, like ConvertKit. You pull those things together, you don't have to do any coding, pull it together, and it will work every time.